Hello everyone and welcome back to Jack Scraps. Thanks for joining me today. I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with this decor piece. This is a metal sign and it is uh, the little wagon with pumpkins in it and it says farm fresh pumpkins. This is so adorable. Next, I found these Harvest DIY pens, and I haven't seen these before. And this one is like an apple pie. It has a pie with an apple in the back, and you get four of them. And they are actually little clips. So how fun is that to add to projects? And then the next one is the little truck with pumpkins in the back side. And again, you get four and those are on clips as well. I found the mini hay bales. These are so adorable. <laughs> I bought the smaller version last year and I had to get these. Now, they're not really what you think. What I think these are is a black and then they've put some of that shaved hay on it. Um, so it's not really a hay bale. It's more like a hay black. <laughs> But it still works. I still think it's adorable. Great for projects and there are eight pieces in this pack. I finally found one of the photo frames that is a camera. I've been seeing so many people DIY these and I've been looking for them and I'm pretty excited to DIY this as well. I found this new pack of nail files by Diamond Cosmetics. I don't know if that's a, a name brand in the larger stores, but I just loved the uh, design that's on these nail files and they look really good. I hope that they are. You get three in the pack. And of course I hit the school section and I found this gigantic glue stick. And this is from Avery, which is really a good brand. And you get 1.27 ounces. I had to try this washable and acid free. So that's good. You can use it for memory keeping. Now, some other things I found were these Sharpies and I went a little crazy because I've been looking for Sharpies lately. I never can find them when I'm looking for them. So I just bought a bunch. Now this is the fine uh, Sharpie and I believe this is a navy blue and I just had to have it. You don't often see blue anywhere. So let's see. Oh yeah. So there's the color. It's a really dark blue. Not really navy, but it is a dark blue. I still love it. Then I picked up all of these Sharpies. Now these are the ultra fine permanent marker Sharpies. And uh, there was a purple color as well that I didn't get, but I'm loving this blue, orange, pink, green, and yellow. And to just kind of show you the difference in the tip. Oh, these write really nice, you guys. So here is the difference. It's definitely, you can tell it's more fine. Very nice. This is such a great price for Sharpies. Another pen item that I found were these uh, Gelosities from Bic. This is a smooth stick gel pen, fine at 0.5 millimeter. Let's check these out. So you have to remove the little wax piece on the end of the pen. And it has a cap that you have to take off. Let's see. Wow, these write really smooth and it's a very fine, I would say very fine point. Very nice. And they came in black. I did not see any other colors in these. So those are nice. And then I came across the Bic Crystal Extra Smooth pens and I got these in blue. They also had them in black. This is a medium. So let's check this one out. I don't notice any difference really in whether it's ultra smooth or smooth. Um, it just seemed like a, you know, a regular smooth writing. So I'm not quite sure why they think it's extra smooth. <laughs> 
but it doesn't matter. You get 10 for a dollar and that's a good deal. <laughs> and then the last pens that I bought were these by, um, what does that say? Liquimark Incorporated. Um, so this might be a name brand, I'm not sure. Uh, it has two hand lettering pens. They are non-toxic. You get a fine and a chisel pen. So let's check these out. So this is the chisel nib. And then this one is a fine point. Interesting that it's blue. Uh, the fine point is still like a medium fine point. It's still pretty thick, considering this was a fine point as well. But those write really well. And then I did pick up some Halloween items. Now, they didn't have a lot out in the Northeast Ohio area. I went to three Dollar Trees, and they were just now starting to put out a few items. I know that... Um, they'll probably be coming in the next week or so because I did talk to one of the cashiers. I'm loving this decorative mesh with the white snow-like effect on the tool. So pretty. I bought the purple and the orange. Of course, they also had this in brown, yellow, um, green, and black. I didn't get the black because I actually already have a black that has a silver type uh, effect on it as well and I don't need to have white <laughs> but these are so pretty I'm loving the purple one and I did find these witches hats wood ornaments and then I just checked my stash I actually have these already but these are still fun to create with but you get five in this pack and then I found these new felt stickers now I got this because of the cat that's in here so adorable you get 20 pieces in total so let me show you all the pieces that you get um, you get these pumpkins let's let's use this one it has a better face you get a bat and they're kind of like that one's kind of like a double layer there they're all like a double layer let's see the pumpkin and then we get this adorable cat Look at him, he's so cute. And the last thing I picked up were these uh, cobweb butterflies clips. I thought these were so pretty. So they have a glitter cobweb on the back of them. And they even have antennas. So let's take one off here. So here's the little clip on the back side. And this is a fabric wing, which is really nice and surprising. Uh, so these are really nice. See the antenna? It's like a plastic. Now the glitter does come off, of course, but these are super cute. So that's everything that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.